There are two main ways to add type in Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. One of them is called point type and the other one is called paragraph type. You just simply need to select the type tool in all of these applications. You can also press T on your keyboard and then you can choose what type of font you would like to use, what is the style you need to use and also you can set the size. So these are the basic parameters of your font and the main difference between the paragraph and point type is that the way how you start it. I'm going to use Photoshop in this case and I just simply click and I can start typing and I just type in this is a point type which never breaks the line no matter how much I type and you can see that you can't see the end of the text because it never breaks the line and that's the most important thing that you need to remember about point type is that it's only going to break the line if you tell it to break the line so if I click somewhere here and I press return or enter that will start breaking the line and I can always change the leading or the the spacing between the lines by holding down ALT up and down arrows but I will come back to this later so once I uh, broke the line I can accept the changes to this type by clicking on this little tick or commit icon here on the top right or I can also press command or control enter to accept the typing the other way of adding type is by creating a paragraph type and that's very simple you just simply need to click and drag with the type tool and then start typing so this is a paragraph type which will automatically break the lines while I'm typing simple once again I can just uh, commit uh, accept typing and then if I want to make changes to the paragraph I can select it with the type tool and just drag the bounding box around and the text will automatically reflow in that so these are the two main ways of adding type uh, and the same works also in Illustrator but before I go there I would like to also show you that if you right click on the layer here in the layers panel you can always switch between these two by choosing convert to point text or point type whichever is set to already a paragraph type or I can select the other one the the one on the top which is already a point text and I can right click on it and from the context menu I can choose convert to paragraph text so even if you started in one you can always switch it to the other version here in Illustrator we can also select the type tool and do the exactly the same thing as we did in Photoshop by just simply clicking on the artboard we can start a point type so I can start typing and, and it works the same way if I press enter or return I can break the line and to be able to accept typing here I have to press escape remember it works here in Illustrator but in Photoshop it won't work it will cancel typing in Photoshop that's a difference there you have to press command or control enter to accept typing if you want to use a keyboard shortcut and the same way in Illustrator we can also create paragraph type by click and dragging and then we will have this frame and we can always fill it in with text and it will work very similarly to Photoshop now if I switch to InDesign there is a bit of a difference here because in InDesign we can't create point type only paragraph type so if I click nothing will happen but if I click and drag I can create a frame and this is here called a text frame uh, which we can fill in with text there is an option which is very useful in this case just to preview it from the type menu fill with placeholder text and that will fill it in automatically with text and we can see it works very similarly to a paragraph type in Photoshop or in Illustrator now that we know how to type in these applications we have to talk about also how to copy and paste type into them and that's what we are going to talk about in the next video